Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs. In today's video, we are going for actually number four on the gauntlet, the Roguelands mini gauntlet. Of I'm trying to get one win with each character back to back to back to back. Now I'm not counting the third person video that I did. So if I'm not counting the third person video, I am, I am three wins deep. Oh, shock damage, like off rip with SMG damage and max health. Depending on what we get, it could be really really nice. I am three wins deep, so Gage, Maya, and Zero. I've got wins on each of them in a row. I would argue that those are probably the three best characters, so that's not surprising that I can make them break them work in the randomized rogue lands. But still, getting three wins in a row is nice. This is number four. Let's see if we can make this work. I'm hoping to get some broken OP skills that we can just call it a day once we see them and the game is over. I see Anarchy. It's my first time getting Anarchy in a long time. And Sentry. This will keep my turret out for longer. I think we owe it to ourselves to go Anarchy. We have nukes. If we want the nukes. Fast Hands is strong for reloads. The skill tree isn't bad. Actually quite good. How about this middle skill tree? Nth degree is good for good for deflections and reflections. But no chain reaction with anarchy is just it's just a tough route to take if you wanna go for endgame. This middle skill tree, I don't see anything that that useful. I mean it's it's just stat stick stuff, which isn't bad. Pretty simple stat stick stuff. And then this right tree starts off pretty rough with I'm your Huckleberry, Fearless, or Counter Strike. I think you just go fearless. Sustenance. Then it's Onslaught. Then it's Sentry. I think we might have a decent amount of tankiness, though. Let's take Anarchy and then... I would say... Autoloader might stack Anarchy a bunch. Let's just take one point in, 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 in auto loader. So killing the enemy instantly loads all guns. So let's, let's shoot a weapon, swap to a different weapon, and see if that'll give us two kills. If we get any p strong pistols, does Amir Huckleberry help me at all? It's just the gun damage and the reload speed. That's what makes it nice. Mm, let's just make sure that we grab a, a, a grenade. And three-way Hulk. Let's go get him. Uh, let's, let's, we still have three points to play in. Let's see what enemies we get and then make our decision. Arid Nexus Badlands. So this should be Skag. So if we're going to be fighting Skags round one. I would say that we will be strong enough. To kind of greed. And take something for the late game. Let's go for Barrens. I get a turret out here first, and then just do my best to stack up anarchy and get kills. Let's run it. Sometimes you forget how amazing the mobbing is, but like, if you just take a time to appreciate this, how good the enemy design and everything is in, in this game. I mean, these these skags are. I mean. Amazingly designed if the if the the clutter was a little bit worse or a little bit nicer Even better, but that's a pretty nice first little stage there Hyperion damage and Hyperion reload speed if I rock a Hyperion pistol That could be good Now I'm, I accidentally reloaded early so I didn't get any anarchy stacks. Let's fix that problem right now keyboard players Why don't we let's flex our muscles? There you go and now no longer get stacks early. Now, and I, I have a question. So if I if I kill someone with this gun now, let's get this Hyperion weapon and swap to this Hyperion relic. So my slot one should should reload. And I might get, I might get another stack of anarchy. If it triggers it. Team fire rate. Just 
This one it still feels good too, the recharge rate. Alright, let's go. So let's see. Watching our anarchy, we have a rabbit skag to shoot at too. Wow. He's a quick boy. It might be time for me to toss a grenade out. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough little zone here. I would like to get a, a nice little slag off on him. There we go. Okay, I'm at four stacks. Gonna need some more, gonna need some more fire. Some more damage here. Luckily, enemy, enemy elements don't, uh, don't doubt me for that long. So even if I take a fire dot here. So we're gonna check to see. We only got one stack. Ah, I didn't, I didn't, I did all that scientific testing for nothing. Oh, so this has got a pretty short fuse time I noticed. No slags. Don't worry about anarchy so much. Just use it as a as a as a passive damage amplification. How about that? Wait, why don't I just juke you? Hop here, hop here, get a little bit of a height advantage. A lot of grenades. Want to go chuck a grenade at the ground? Didn't have one. We kite. Tear it down. For I mean for a round one rogue lands, this is this is about all you can ask for. This is challenging, it's fun. I only need to kill four more targets, though. I'll see ya. They're destroying my turret rather quickly. I would like to get nukes sooner rather than later. I still have no grenades. Taking some damage here. In exchange for some damage on him. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Oh, you, you stopped my shield from regenerating. How could you do that to me? Shield is back. We don't have to take it down. Never take it down. Never worth it. Grab a skag behind. Oh, we do get torched with a nice little burn attack. The rabbit skag behaves very similarly to the uh, infernal dragon. Oh, and that is 15 out of 15. Hey, we take that. Clear enemies on round end. This is an amazing, amazing feature. You would, I would think this, this two times, um, this consumes two ammo per shot face time would be better than the consume four because of the Hyperion's. You want to actually less consumed ammo. That way you can get more shots on target. All right, we go four Barons and then let's go hard to kill. Let's go Jolt's method, build tank. Bob Tesla. Hmm. Couple singularities here. This one's a longbow. And I think a Tesla might be the grenade of the future just for now. This little lob Tesla. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. Let's see. This hand cannon could be could be sick. I mean, it could be sick. I've used them a couple times now. Times two torque pistols to see if I can get some of them to work. And each time they've they felt pretty good. This would be a fun zone to try it out. But I think we're just gonna go kind of pure here. All right, it's a good time to try. So how many stacks will I get? Fifteen. Don't get an extra stack there. But my weapon did get reloaded, correct? Let's double check. So it's 13 rounds. Let's see. Need to get a kill. Okay. Did my Hyperion... Yes, it did get reloaded. Okay. But I don't think I got an extra stack for it is the only thing. Go ahead, blow up. I want to actually get the kills myself to stack up anarchy. That's why I'm not just letting them blow up on me. Ah, uh, shoot, I gotta let this one do it. Okay. Two shots, just real quickie. One, two, fuck on my shoe. Three, four, crouch at the door. Five, six, turret out. Oh, block, get blocked. 
Nice shot. Okay. And this is when we Tesla out. Get caught in the Tesla. Am I gonna have to how many am I gonna have to use to kill one lad? Cannot let that we can't let this guy bully us. Good crit. He's got a good shield angle on me right now. Well, you beat the turret. That's crazy. Without blowing up. Can I hinge him? Not quite. There's a corrosive barrel right next to me that I do not want to get involved with. At all. There we go. Good shot. Don't have another grenade for him. That's okay. This gun loader is going to start... Yeah, he's he's gonna throw nades to get me out of my position. It should hit. That's all I'm saying. Maybe we can take care of this ion, this bolt loader now. There we go. There we go. It's about all I can do for you, turret. Realistically. I have um, an advantage on this hat loader just for a second. It's because we gotta make, gotta make use of it. Boom. Very clean. Now it's just this power loader. And this and the super badass behind me. I'm on a timer here. There we go. 30 stacks of anarchy. I'll take it. It's completely in the back of my mind now. Just... Anarchy just comes and goes. It fluctuates and flows. It's, it's not your primary focus. Your your focus is to get the comp, to, to get the shield regen and stuff like that going. I like that synergy. Okay, so I have a lot of ways to slag, but I think I take the uh, corrosive SMG there. Hard to kill. Unstoppable force. It's just a nice skill tree overall. It is nice. I'm gonna roll. We did that that's a decent way to slag. I don't I can't spam anything that's slag right now. I don't have scorn. If you watch my last video and you want to see you want to see scorn take over a run? Holy cow. Alright, Aquamarine Provocateur. I, I, I nailed that pronunciation, by the way. The Diamond Sniper Rifle might actually be good. The Scout might be good, too. Alright, we can roll from here. Is that, that almost looked like a second pressure plate or something over there. Did you see that? I wonder what that was. Alright, so... Go to S Let's just go to an SMG or something like fire. It looked like it was fire. That's why I grabbed it, but it's not fire. And we can go SMG gun damage here. Just play what the game gives us into the right locations. Oh, that's the fastest rabbit sky kill I've ever seen in my whole life. Wow. That was fast. That's, stop the timer on that one. Can someone, can someone tell me how long that took me to, to kill that rabbit sky in total with the reload and everything? Here we roll. Usually those um, those enemies are a lot more difficult than that. Not with this Malawan Fire SMG. What are, to me, it's like what are some some machine guns good at? They're good at close range weapon. They are close range engagements. They have rapid fire bullets, and I would say that. They are just a little bit more impact, better than shotguns at that close range. No need to go for the fire guy here. So we can just ding up this guy, and he gets his fire, his fire uh, buff as well. So we just go for crits or something like that with something else. There we go. Something happened. All right, what do we get in here? Pistol damage and Jacob's accuracy recover. We could really be juicing up pistols now.
We have a lot. Our relic game is pretty strong here. Corrosive damage and poof. Our relic game is actually really, really strong. It is. Hmm. You have to decide on our next five. I think Unstoppable Force makes it just a ton of sense. I need... I don't have the recharge delay or anything like that yet. I can get some. But I think... I think we can go five points. Four, four points in pressure. You know, that reload speed when you're under pressure, you just need to swap, swap, swap. Do your thing. I think that that's where this could come in handy. Are we already on a boss round? Oof. The mini mod does not give you a lot of time to mess around before you hit this first boss. Okay. Assault rifle gun damage. That could be really, really strong. SMG accuracy. SMG accuracy. And forbearance, which I already have points into. Well, why not? If there's ever a time to do it, it is right now. I don't see a reason why not. Accuracy is as a slept a slept on stat in this game, in my opinion. Accuracy determines whether or not your bullets hit. I'm gonna put that out there. In case anyone's wondering. If your bullets don't hit, you do no damage. <laughs> He's like, this guy only speaks in truths. I am, I'm, I, I speak in truths. I speak in faculties. This plague rat is burning. Like, this is, that is how I am. Oh, the wee rat. Oh, I'm, I'm just noticing that they could be collecting my loot and I won't be able to stop them because they're rats. Yeah, this guy. Hey. I'm also, I'm being dotted, which I don't like. Stand inside the Tesla. If you want to fight me, you must fight me inside the Tesla with my turret net nearby. Oh, there's a ton of rats spawning right now. This is not normal. Okay. Reclaim turret for that little bit. <laughs> I 66 stacks. The crazy thing is we're gonna have we're gonna have more enemies spawning in here probably. A team fire rate. I like having the extra points in forbearance. You guys are you guys mean nothing to me. Oh why do you make me do this? Why do you make me do this to you? This is it's this is Borderlands 101. Like, yeah, you don't have to fight these lads, but you don't not fight the lads. You know what I'm saying? Every lad must be fought. <laughs> Alright, toss the Tesla at the ground here. Then you gotta fight inside it. I understand that I popped my own shield. Didn't mean to do that. That's my own fault. But we roll. I'm happy that more, less of, or I didn't get so many of those mutated lab rats. A longbow slag grenade with a 0, 0.0 second fuse time. The game is over. And you might say, well, okay, 0, 0. 0.0 second fuse time. Well, how, how many projectiles are you giving up for that? Um, Not many. That's a time six. This thing goes crazy. You want to ask me what is, what is goaded non-uniques? This is the most goaded non-unique. The longbow slag transfusion. 0, 0.0 second fuse time. Tell me that doesn't go crazy. The longbow O negative is like my... My creme de la creme. So watch. We need to be, get immediate slags on basically anything that we want. It's broken. And those slags heal you. It's the ultimate spell. If we're playing Wonderlands, I'll be I'm playing spell shot. 
Actually, my favorite build that I've ever made is my Spell Shop Berserker crossover, which... Which, to be fair, most of the time will have more points in Spell Shop than it does in Berserker. But, oh man, that build went crazy. You could go... You could go double buff Meister, or you can go for Skeep. <laughs> and I thought Skeep was more fun most of the time. Let's get my longbow slag grenades to not only just drain the shields, but also slag them. And he drops me an order shield, which is for melee builds. So I appreciate that. Okay, but I still have to make decisions about my own shield, though. An adaptive makes sense but i'm already i'm already got something to deal with yeah i already have something to deal with dots i'd rather just have a bigger shield that's the exact same one that's crazy sticky longbow incendiary transfusion it would be good except for the fuse time is too long the saying Ain't no one gotta get mad about it. Alright, let's go five points. Reload speed, max size, sure. That's it. These are, it's just stat sticks. And we take everything until the build comes completely together. Under pressure. Duke Nukem. <laughs> Where do we go from here? I think Elemental Empathy has juice. It really... It did a great job in my last run of really popping off and healing a bunch. And right now I have like a fire damage build going anyways. And I have mo I have a more pep. Asbestos as well. This is like this is literally the this is the flamethrower Axton build. You go elemental empathy with fuel the fire. And you have you have numb nerves. Holy cow. This this could be Look at how insane this flamethrower build could go. You just gotta be able to light yourself on fire. And you have Fearless. All we need is a Rough Rider. Sustenance. Oh, asbestos. All we need is a Rough Rider. And we meet our destiny. And what do we give up? Oh man, we'd have to give up Numb Nerves. Raving retribution. Yeah, it wouldn't be possible. There's too many there's too many moving parts. It might be a, it might be a pipe dream. Let's take fast hands. You, you need you need too many skill points. You can't make it down to each of these three different trees. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure who which one this is gonna kill, but it's not gonna matter. Blast him. Honestly, a Tesla would probably go much better here. I'd probably just swap to this bad boy. To destroy the shield real quick and then swap back to my... SMG. There we go. Now I can swap back to my SMG. Which should do some pretty good damage here. Defensively, I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling okay. Oh, the sorcerer. The sorcerer. You're getting burned down, brother. You thought this was going to be a hard fight. Like, I came prepared for this. No, you did not. No, you did not. Alright, you resist shock. You do not resist fire. So, guess what happens now? Your little bodyguards aren't going to be able to protect you from my slag. And then you get the SMG to the face. Okay. 
slap him. Oh, no more grenades though. No more grenage. No more grenouche. That's fine. Here's what we do. We focus Skelly, Skelly man, who gives us back grenade 100% of the time, and then Mr. President Skeleton tanks my transfusion. I just tried to reload early. Okay, here we go. That's a blast. That's a blast from the past right there. Make use of it. Make use of it. Here we go. Slag should still be alive here for another magazine. Make use of it. I'm the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. Questions? I've got answers. What? What's, what's your question? Oh, there's a fire immune boss coming up and I'm all fire damage. Incorrect. Any other questions? Let's throw it right at him. And we get a direct hit. And we start dome piecing him. 101 stacks of anarchy. Making me a little bit less accurate. Trying to counteract that with the extra accuracy I'm picking up from my class mod. Turret doing a great job averting the, the aggro for me. That's a bad toss. That could have definitely ended the run. I would like to get some more slag. Hoping this guy drops a grenade. He doesn't. Never never lucky. Never paid out. They put out they're putting out a hit on me. Okay, there's officially no more grenades allowed. Well, maybe if I pick up this grenade. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. And I risk it on a... I, oh, actually, we got a punish. We got a bunch more. There we go. One of them should make it to the boss. And turret's coming back up here in a second, too. I mean, this guy's army of dragons is definitely increasing. Don't get me wrong. But we haven't even begun to, to get into a rinse season. He doesn't want to be here when, once rinse season begins. But then again, neither do I. Let's keep DPSing boss. Okay. Listen, we're fine. We have no grenades. We have no way to heal. But we're absolutely fine. Right? Maybe we want to grab this one right here. And keep trying to DPS boss. Definitely activate this shrine. But the problem is we don't have enough grenages. Open up this. Maybe this will give me some grenage. Yep. That's a decent amount. Let's go. Pace them out. Pace them out. Okay, we are in trouble now. We are in trouble now, but the sorcerer isn't too. And bingo, bongo, bango. We make it through. Let's go. We take a kitten for sure. Tinderbox, Boom Puppy, Roaster. I think it does out DPS my current launcher. Which I haven't had to use, by the way. This has been a performance. Okay. Cooldown rate? That might be useful right there. But I don't think I do have Battlefront. The one that gives me more damage when I have my turret out, so. The advantage of having turret out is simply the the aggro it can pull. And now, with the nukes, the extra CC that it drops. Gives me some time on the- with some alone time on the boss, which we just saw is pretty important. I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, we just want to get to down- down to this tree right here. This tree has some special- some special sauce. Yeah, honestly, it does. Let me go fearless. Let me roll. Let me go fearless, and we want to go down that middle tree because it has onslaught primarily. Let's hit the box once. Hit that box, Arino. The whiskey tango fox trot double pull. That's a real meme, like an absolute meme. 
and to try to make it up for the pyrophobia that I don't really like that much. I hate you. I, I don't I don't have a choice, I have to pull. Okay, a little bit unlucky, a little bit unlucky, but it is what it is. They put out a hit on me. Only one I can afford is launcher. Let's go fight a red boss. Whew. Not the best pulls. And we get the hardest boss. What's our strategy? Start off, destroy his shields. Moxie weapon engaged. Assault rifle magazine size and damage you're in. Shock damage you're in. We rotate between our... Our different damage weapons. I'm going to start with this SMG to be honest. With no, I'll start with these. Sorry, folks. I already set it up. I have no way to cheese him with boar or blood explosion or anything like that. This is going to have to be a normal takedown. Let's go, boss. Throw it out. His shield does get absolutely toasted here. We're getting ready for his big dot. Okay, should be coming out here soon. Here it is. Okay. Now we just go uh, ring around the rosy a little bit with him. This kitten is probably not the not the play right now with the anarchy. This doesn't have, it doesn't have the anor it doesn't have the the accuracy. Let's do SMG accuracy, and then I think shock damage is gonna do more for me than anything else. There we go. His helmet's gone. I think though he gets no, he doesn't do an automatic. I thought he might do an automatic. Nova after his helmet goes off, but he does not. Sorry, I, felt, I, thought I, felt, I thought I felt a little bit behind on this. Yeah, I was a little early. I need to find a timer. Figure out a way to time this guy. Okay, um, this might be more efficient than honestly going for power-ups, but... Going for power-ups probably is going to be overall faster. Haven't really gotten a clean chance to do some deeps to his head. I'm down to just grind him out. Oh, there's the we we do take a we have blessing in disguise. We do end up taking a dot. I'm surprised with how much anarchy we have. We're not end up we don't end up doing more damage to him. 150 stacks of anarchy is not a little bit of anarchy. That's a good chunk of anarchy. I need to get to this waterfall, brother. If you don't mind. Here we go. He's like, okay, I'm going to have another dot ready for you soon. Don't worry. I'm ready for that next dot. I know I'm behind schedule. Whoa, what a jump. Can I still block it? No, that's craziness. That's crazy talk. All right, no, I think we just pray for power-ups. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking pray for power-ups. That, that was going to be my strat. All right, here we go. We got probably the best power-up we could have hoped for besides the green. We spam. We spam. We pray for our computer. May it forever be... Roasted in the fires if this doesn't work. Okay. That's how you kill Pyropeeth. That is how you kill Pyropeeth. Oh, and we get rewarded with Peak Opener. Oh, and we get rewarded with Interfacer. This, that's why this run is... We are anointed. We are absolutely 100% anointed. It has to go nuclear now. 
There's no other way. No, watch this evolution shield pull from the reward. Oh, ho, ho, nice try. Lob shock to O negative, while it is tempting, is not going to be a good enough replacement. These are the weapons of the future, obviously. We're going to have to restack Anarchy, but like we said, Anarchy is it's a, it's a player in... It's a supportive role. It's not the main focus. Main focus shifts entirely to peak opener, if I'm being honest with you, but I'm, I am shameless. I would like to get my fourth win in a row, if you guys don't mind. With a shock damage relic like to boot. And I have assault rifle class mods. Like, this could be... You know... This run could definitely have absolute juice. I said it in the beginning, and I'll say it now. This run could have some serious juice. Like, okay, well, you got peak opener. Like, you got lucky. Look, sometimes you get lucky. Have we seen how many times I've killed Pete and not gotten a peak opener? I promise you it's way more times. It's going to be an explosive damage relic. Oh! The return. The return of the shock and explosive damage relic. Okay, so let's go assault rifle magazine size and assault rifle gun damage. And I can go either explosive or shock damage based on any situation. Is that not broken? I've done this before and it was strong enough to kill the shock dragon. It was strong enough to kill shock dragon. With just the explosive damage. Just saying. With a little bit of nuke therapy as well. What if I just rec rec reclaim my turret all the time? I can get it back faster for more nukes. That'd be kind of a cool idea. Okay, there's a green power up here. Probably want to save it for next round. But I kind of want to just have some fun stacking anarchy with this peak opener. We roll without it. Sorry, Juso. But it is what a doobie is. Now we toss. Nuke him. Duke him back. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Right, so we, we are in tier 2, which means it's probably not worth going for pressure pads. But. I honestly feel like we have the entire cast. Like we have the entire build locked up and loaded. We just need to get to the assault rifle SCU machine at this point. Let's go overload for a sorrowful magazine size. Next, accelerate. Next. Elemental empathy can be our healing. We've seen it work once. I can work again. I'm trying to remember how I got up here last time. Is this how I did it? I think there's something up here. I know there is. Maybe it's on top of here. Down to the top of here. Nope. Come on. Give me something to work with here. Yes. Okay. And the pressure plate's up there. People were, people thought I was going crazy. We're not going crazy. We get a pressure plate. I'm happy to see all these weapons. Don't don't I'm I'm don't say I'm not, but we knew what we signed up for when we went searching for it. All right, what's next? Still not a still nunca, still none. That's fine. What are we really even looking for? I mean, a shield, a shield for the ages. One that can capsize our build and not capsize, wrong word. One that can take it to the next level. Evolution, Neo Generator, Rough Rider. Maybe not Rough Rider, maybe Rough Rider. I'm undecided on the topic myself. Nice nuke. I gotta recall you faster than that. That's slow reflexes. That's my bad. Okay. 
And I'm, I would have accidentally reloaded a hundred times by now because I'm still hitting the button. Okay. That's a little slaggity slag grenade. And maybe even a little baggity bag turret. That's enough damage for me to be happy. I'm trying to use all my ammo on one enemy here. There we go. Just a little bit of accuracy. We went a long way there. Do we know where pressure pad is on this map too? Oh, let's hide behind this entry for a second. Watch it blow. Okay, if you don't feel that comfortable right now. Oh, we're there, we're there. No, <laughs> they're starting to get nervous. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell by the way they're pathing that they're starting to get nervous. It's crazy. Like, oh, here comes this guy again. This dude, he just, he's like, every time he gets peak opener, this guy just says, I'll, I'll slap it on. I'm, guys, I'm trying to go for the gauntlet. You don't understand. <laughs> dude, you don't know why I'm doing it. It's, it's not for the, it's not for the fame. It's just for the challenge for it all. It's just for the sport. And you're like, are you sure? Is that why you're, is that why you're creating content and posting it to YouTube? True, true. Got me. Caught, caught. Okay. Picking up weapons that I know I'll never use. That's, that's the true Mikey Dubs way. That's the true Mikey Dubs way. There's no way that's more true to that, to me than that. What does four, does four barons reduce the duration? And so does asbestos. I wonder how that overlap works, but I'm sure it works exactly how it should work in my head and they add together and they give me a final number. I'm sure it won't. <laughs> okay, you go. Oh, a little bit of frames, but, we, we, but we, we're still James. James Bond, that is. I see this guy. who He wants to make an impression on me, I can tell. Yeah, he wants to make a, a real good impression on me. I know his type. I've seen it before. Nuke, great job. And I shot into it. This could be the end run under. Every, ladies and gentlemen, just kidding. There's just no way. It's this guy's fault right here. He's the one pinning me down. Oh, ironclad. It's ironclad thinks I got armor. I'll be fine. No. No one's fine anymore. It's peak opener season. All right, so I think we do want to go more pep. Because we are going to want to take elemental empathy for healing. And the best way to keep it going is going to be to keep dotting enemies. So more pep is going to help us do that. Again, I have my very last run. I did some testing with this weapon. On those dragons with elemental empathy and i got it before it fell oh what a pill this one fell to the right at the shock damage is is better than the assault rifle damage in this instance because of anarchy stacking but i think i could have enough healing from elemental empathy is what i'm trying to say like that's what i'm trying to get at oh what a nuke Enemies closing in all around me. I can't shoot because I blow myself up with grenades. What do I do? Nuke. A Pyrex candy. It's a little bit much. It's a little bit much for what we're doing here. I can't shoot that banjo with this. It's crazy. Don't you mess with me like that. All right, we take this Pyrex candy. We go find Spike go ASAP. No. Let's go. We got, we, we got a haul. Shortcut across the top. Let's go. Find Spiko. You better be spawned in here. Please. Either way. Let's, let's rinse him. Wasted our candy. But we got one kill of that. Totally worth. Oh, did you manage to survive one bullet? That's okay. The grenade will kill you. 
<laughs> if you if you if you're anti peak opener or anti borderlands change my mind or no say no it's, it's always broken you should never take it you don't know anything I think taking asbestos here is a really hot take when Ranger's available, <laughs> personally. But we go for it anyways, we don't care. We don't care at all. We go Doc Mercy's Lair, which means that the Grenages are probably going to do more damages. So we actually go for the explosive damage here. Watch me whip. And watch me nene. Speaking of nene, 2017 Washington Wizards, if you tell me about the, of, of all teams, the M NBA SCOTUS teams that got cheated, it was the 2017 Washington Wizards. We, we were we were destined for greatness until Kelly Olenek signed, uh, a, a, I don't know what it was. He signed a deal with the devil or something. And he just absolutely went off in Game 7 for no reason whatsoever. And, and we got kicked out of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. But as Wizards fans, it was like the peak of the John Wall era. If you make it to this point in the video, you have no idea what we might talk about. It's kind of like my favorite times, honestly. Like, we got, we got the peak opener and just this guy completely lined up. Just... Make sure we get our Anarchy stack. Didn't get it. Ugh. I paused for effect. A magic missile not required. Basically, I have a better version of you. Okay. This is definitely. I mean, this. I mean, this run is. It's. It's got to be ascended, right? It's. It's beyond. It's going to go even further beyond. Okay. So I think we do want to take some points in elemental empathy now. We can heal up a little bit on this boss. And we should be able to do shock, shock deeps fairly consistently. A sorry flow has to use has to be capped. It must be. Shotgun is next. Because that interfacer is just chilling in my back pocket with the deputy's badge ready to... Ready to pop at any moment. Grenage is of the utmost import. I'll do one pull. Be shield me and the run's anointed. I won't I won't say no to a toothpick. Toothpick is a massive boss shredder in its own right. But it's gonna it has a very specific use, I would say, over the peak opener, and that is to kill the shock dragon. Or maybe even maybe even over the peak opener against Terramorphous. We will try them both. So do we have... We don't have mouthwash. We have hard carry. So we're going to slap on hard carry and see. And see. Come on. Toothpick, you can got... You got this. It's not the relic, bro. It's you. You're the broken one. I believe in you. So yeah, the NBA draft is coming up in a week now, and it's going to be... Woo! Because the Wizards have the second pick overall, and, well, Alex Sar, the seven-footer, he's been projected number one for most of the, the season, I feel like, or so, a, a big, at least a, a large portion of it. And he is going to be available. Maybe at the number two pick. Maybe. Okay, that's half health with two mags. Let's go peak opener. Let's not change our relic. Let's see. We're going to try to get some slag off. Give it a fair chance. Okay, that's one mag. That's two mags. Honestly, I can't really tell which one's doing more damage. We'll just go with the toothpick because I use it less often. I think Toothpick might have had it there. I mean, if it didn't have it, it definitely was close. Are right, we going for Leadstorm or Blood of the Seraphs? I just—I'm not a big fan of the Leadstorm in general. I think I think it leaves you too vulnerable. 
personally. Oh, we can roll out. There's another blood stairs right here. Like, so there's really no point in not taking the lead storm, but whatever. I did see a drop too. I still chose against it. It's more of me being defiant of the blood storm than it is me over prior under prioritizing the or over prioritizing the blood of the seraphs because they're all the same stats, right? Thirty nine percent. Please don't do this to me. Come on now, focus up. Out. Easy money. Consistent day. Getting paid to get my way. Let's go. We roll out. Tier 3, does it have any chance? I would say no. Not a chance. That, that fight right there was his last chance. And getting Terra Morphous was just the icing on the proverbial wedding cake if that's what that word means i hope it means what i think it means okay we can roll out with nothing else here that we need toothpick not my favorite for mobbing i think it's much more of a boss specialist whereas this weapon right here as i'm getting hit and in, in the back by a nameless enemy that then, then disappears into the shrubs. You, you two got a lot of work to do on your manners. I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah, and also hiding up there, that's cringe too. It's probably even more cringe. Can't believe we spawn right here. That's craziness. Who gets hit by the train? No one did. Playing outside the boundary? Is that what is that what we've come to? I feel like people, the enemies in Rogueland used to have more respect. More respect. Nowadays, they just do all kinds of stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought that might have been an ultimate badass. I got a little bit scared with the character models being kind of similar. Duke Nukem. Then we turn into Jukem. Oh my gosh. Just getting started. Oh. Don't I, I was I was gonna finish that rhyme, but I can only think of one and it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna sail, so we just we leave it where it was. That's so easy. Doc Twister. A little bit of Doc, a little bit of twist. I would say more elemental empathy first. And then, let's do sustenance? I feel like we owe it to ourselves, though, to do evil enchantress. And at least try to get the dots up and running. If a lot of our healing is going to come from elemental empathy anyways, right? Borderlands symbol, or vault symbol. Let's go. Sheriff's badge is nice. Definitely take that. But if there's a... If there's a vault symbol, that typically means there's also a... A pressure pad. And I would very much like to get that pressure pad. We have a, a decent view from the sky up here. I see it back there. I see it back there! Get me up there! Okay. How are we going to get up there? I did see it, right? Oh, please tell me I'm not gonna climb all this way for nothing. I don't know. I don't know if that jump's even possible. This one's possible though. Is anything possible from here? Oh yeah, not quite. Okay, I'm gonna go look for this for this pressure paddle. See you guys in a second. Okay, so I did find it. It's at the top of this. The stairwell here that you can actually grab a ladder to. But I, I actually got in through the... I feel like the back way. Whatever the back way is. Yeah, I climbed up here. Then you jump on top of this ledge. And then it's right here. Here are three pressure plates. That's a fire conference call. 
Does that grip matching? No, it's a it's a it's a Jacob's grip. Infection cleaner. Yeah, I'm not really thrilled with all those options. The conference call, though. If you're looking for a weapon to kill Blue Dragon, I mean, here, here's one right here. I don't think it'll be better than the, the toothpick. But it could be something fun. All right, we definitely need a peak opener here. And let's let's go a little bit more try hard with our, sh with our shock relic. Here we go. It's a much bigger damage increase, I believe. It's, it's nice to know that I, I have the damage if I need it. Let's reclaim our turret. I need to start throwing more grenades here to slag them up. A little bit late on that one, but you get the point. Okay, do I need slag? I didn't think I was going to need it against these lads, but it seems as though I still do. It's not as good as Scorn. I take it all back. These transfusions, they're, they're okay. I mean, it's it's still I still it's still best, but it was like, why not? Why aren't you shooting the one on the right that's already got slag on him? You know, and he's only got one health, and he's gonna shooting directly at me. You're, you're totally right. My target prioritization there was atrocious. But that's pretty easy. And we get to have fun, run around, and do it with an assault rifle, which is sick. On Axton, by the way. It's like a dream come true. Alright, I get all the pressure plates, don't I? All you do is abuse the pressure plates. Yes, correct. That is the point. Up here. I was hoping to get on top of that little tr uh, little ramp there to maybe make my approach from the sky and be like Calabunga, but... First things first, I'm the real to drop a grenade and like, let, the, let the whole world feel this. Now my shield comes back and my and I got extra movement speed. I mean, this is very quick. Lots of gun damage. Very hard to bring me down. The good touch or the aqua toss? I think the good touch, because I'm not sure how much healing I'm going to be getting out of the kitten. But even more for dots? Or is it time to get some crit damage? No, I don't really need crit damage, right? Let's go... Let's go sustenance for some extra healing. Running out of points to put in. Hey, we roll. It honestly might be worth getting more... Points into uh, anarchy, and that's simply because this thing doesn't. The peak opener doesn't crit, so I don't have to worry about creating the dragons. I can just blast into any of them from anywhere. Hit you. Get him down, get him down. Pardon me for being quiet in this phase. I'm kind of just feeling the the peak opener carnage. I'm also trying to clear out the stage as, as efficiently as I possibly can. The, you, the little try hard. If I was doing a speed run, if someone wants, to, someone wants to put together a speed run tournament, dude, I would, I would be going off. I probably wouldn't, like, I, I probably wouldn't win, but I think I would go off. Okay, um, I mean, I could, I could put it together in my own tournament. I mean, I am like the Rogue Lands guy. Sustenance, Onslaught. I would say more Onslaught. Over fancy mathematics now. Let's just, let's just play a little bit more defense. 
little bit more defense. Sorry for punching the microphone. It, it, it is what it is. It do be is what it is, do be is. Should we go for a pressure plate again on this map? Yes, I think we do. Why? Because we know where it is. We know exactly where it's at. I'm feeling like the gauntlet might be, you know, one step, one step closer to completion after this run. This is a good feeling. I know that you can get up here, Natty. You gotta be able to. I've done it before. Come on, all natural. Wow. No. Let me up. Let me up. Yes. Yes. I'm, th I'm there. I'm there. I'm not there. I'm there. I'm not there. Come on. One more. One more big hop from your lad. One more big hop from your lad. All right, I'm going to figure out how to get up here to see you guys in a second. Okay. So after like, I don't know how many failed attempts. If someone knows how to actually get up there, please put it in the comments. I would like to get my reward that's just chilling there. Maybe if I shoot it, maybe the guns will drop down. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's okay. Let's roll next. I just couldn't figure out a way to get up there. Like, I was doing... I was jumping on the anchor for, like, ever. I was on that anchor for days. Trust me. I mean, the anchor got well acquainted. Okay, so maybe a couple grenades to start here. Maybe a little nuke to knock this guy back to... Back to oblivion. But then we take all of our damage in it. All of our health and damage, which is fine, because we blow ourselves up with our own grenade. It's like our turret is still sitting there. And we are we are doomed. We are doomed to eternal destruction if we do not start cleaning up our act here. That's a good start. That's a good start. Drop you. Strong. Is my is my transformer shield on? I want the transformer on. Yeah, this is the one I want. It's gonna give me immunity to all shock damage. Which is nice. You know, be only because the only element that beats shocked that beats a uh, shield is shock. So I mean your shield can still get broken by a lot of things, but at least, at least the shock things in the game, like the one specific one that is infamous, is the shock dragon. Shock dragon is very annoying with shock damage. I've been transformer against just that lad. Is the reason I've started sometimes killing blue lad last. Which is strange because he's the one that heals everybody. You'd be like, destroy him first. And I, I don't, I don't feel it sometimes. It's, I feel like it's leave him for last. That way you can just chill out and use the transformer shield. Because he's blasting you with his shock damage, just never doing anything. I think cooldown could go crazy, but so could the, the health regen, the max health, too. Let's go the engineer. We get even more points to de work with now. Onslaught, Sentry for the Dragon Fight. I think that might be my last points I get. I think I'll maybe get one more set of points. I think we're set up for success here. I can go Toothpick for this boss, or even Conference conference Call, but... but why, don't, why don't we try a Conference Call? I don't have a B-Shield, though. It's We can try it. I just don't think it's going to be that great. Why don't we just go Toothpick instead? Right, get get through these phases as quickly as we can. Drop a nuke. Maybe get some slag going. Not bad. I do have a shock damage relic on. Maybe I should just swap back. Yep. Immediately just one shots everything. It's too much stuff to swap around. Relics and all this other nonsense. Back in my day, you just pressed you just press swap for pistol and Swap back for whatever gun you picked up off the ground playing Metal of Honor European Assault. I was there. I was there. When you remember the spawn location of the of the best shotgun. 
to sprint through every game and refuse to leave the the inner mechanisms of the castle. So your cousin and your brother have to like come fight you in this small little room. It's like I'm not moving. It's gonna be you or me. I of course see that red candy, whose name Oh, I cannot remember this moment, but let's run away so we don't get ill juiced on. You trying? Okay. Sure at you. I'll get nukes. Okay. Back in where we're at. And now this the final phase is where I'll pick up is where I will pick up this projectile spammer. The shield stays alive. It's a big part of this build is that the shield just stays alive. All right, you coming on down? Nuke everybody else. I was gonna say, there's no way I can't get the DPS to go. All right. The only challenge that remains is the Lay Dragons. Lay Dragons. We did not get very good gear here. I'm gonna be really honest with you. Plainly honest, not the best gear. That's okay. We can get some. We can get some tiny Tina class mods. Then maybe juice up my run a little bit. Disappointed in that gear. Don't worry, I'm ready. This time I'm, I'm completely ready. I'm not gonna get jump scared by another chest. And this it is frightening though. Especially that one in the pyramid. If you don't know, there's I think there's a there's a chest at the pyramid that is guaranteed to be a mimic. At the end of the run. And I'm pretty sure once you fall down there's no way back up. It's a pretty pretty dark way to end the run, to be honest. Alright. Grant me the B Shield of Destiny and we can forever be at peace. Without it, I will hate you. And I will always feel so fleeced. There we go. <laughs> Close quarters Hornet and a Maggie. Could you can you give me something like at least somewhat good? Can you like pretend to, to care about me? I guess you I guess that works. You pretend to care about me. Fine, whatever. Okay. Uh do we need a respec? I don't really necessarily think we do. Everything feels fine to me. I mean the, having the extra gun damage from impact will be nice. Other than that, not really, no. I think we could just roll it. Dance with the girl that brought us. Why not? I mean, you can't dance with the girl you didn't brought. Alright, no B shields. Just a transformer. Make sure that I have my shock damage relic on here. It's explosive damage. Let's go shock. Shock damage relic. What can I use to get them out of the sky? How about a interfacer? No, that's not gonna be accurate enough. It's gonna it's gonna do weird stuff. Infinity. There we go. Okay, grab this defense relic and like always, I think we get green down. Just for the peace of mind of knowing. The peace of mind of knowing that. How about a little bit of turret to block these first couple attacks? I don't want to take the first couple. But then we have little guys to shoot. It's just that peace of mind goes a long way. Don't take a bit of damage now. I'm not in trouble yet. Transfusions are finding me. And green dragon goes down. Okay, I would like to get down... Senor Purple, you do not mind. Okay, this is why we have lads. Focus on Purple first. Okay, we get him down. Survive, just survive, just survive. You know, where is Purple Dragon? Is he flying already? No, didn't think so. Didn't think he had the gall. Didn't think he had the guts. I knew he didn't have it in him. All right. 
Now we go red. And you're like, you red? Why not go shock? I have transformer, brother. I thought I'd be talked about this. What is the shock dragon going to do to me? Thanks, like, sincerely. Like, what is it going to do to me? Absolutely nothing. All I have to do is juke these small lads and I'm completely fine. Don't let them, don't let them blow myself up. This fire guy owes me some time alone with him after he goes into defense form. My order is completely fine. I'm come, bring it on down. And we can honestly just use... Let's try it again. Let's see if we can... Let's see if, this, if the peak opener is just the god weapon. If you get the right... Here, here. Alright, let's, let's go for a little bit of slag. That's... That's okay. That's okay, but it's... I would rather just see if the toothpick can do a little bit better. Sorrowful damage. Okay. Look at my transformer just absolutely popping off here. I think toothpick is is probably a little bit better there. I think it's doing pretty good damage. Plus I can crit, so we're we're heading to the promised land here, I think. Oh yeah, we're definitely promised land bound here. It takes off. We stay tracking them. We're tracking them. This is real dragon hunting. Come on, give me the final hit in the air. I'm getting hits. Oh, he wants to land. Oh, no, he didn't land yet. That's that's a fit. That's an aerial kill. Aerial kill. Didn't use a moxie weapon one time. Oh, or I did use it a little bit, but still. I won't count it as that. That's, that's four wins in a row. It's just Salvador and Krieg remain, and well, we'll see. We'll see. I think Salvador is maybe the, the most challenging. And then I think about just Krieg. I'm like, wait, nope. Yep, it's Krieg. <laughs> As we hop across the finish line, we're, we're happy with the friends we made along the way. A really, really fun run. And a run that got us all, the entire distance again. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.